Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janine here. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am in my very obvious Canadian uniform. You can't see my socks, but I've got some awesome lumberjack looking socks on, feeling cozy. Uh, today we're gonna get into my September wrap up. Cue in that intro. Okay guys, hey, so thank you for being here. Today's video is my September wrap up. So we're gonna look at the books that I read this month. It's going to be kind of short. I'm not going to go into a huge synopsis about each of the books, but I am going to kind of focus on one group of books that I read. So I'm gonna pull out my phone because I need Goodreads up so that I know what the heck I read. Okay, so the first book that I read in September was actually Sailor Moon by Naoko Takeuchi. The last book that I read for September was Smoke by Dan Valletta. So I'm going to go through all of the books that I read. So, in order from the beginning of September to the end of September, I've got Sailor Moon volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I then finished my reread of The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. That's the first book in his His Dark Materials trilogy. There will be a Janine reread segment on that. After that, I then read Sailor Moon Volume 7, followed by Funny Girl by Nick Hornby. Then Sailor Moon Volume 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I was done that, and that's actually the series that I'm going to focus on a little bit in this video. Next, I did The Shadow of the Wind, which is book one in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books by Carlos Ruiz Zafuan. Um, I actually had no idea that that was a series, so color me super excited that I can read more about that. And then the last book that I read was Smoke by Dan Valletta. Now this is a book that one was given to me by a very good friend who I love dearly. Shout out to Carolyn who's at Howl's Moving Bookstagram on Bookstagram or on Instagram. And then uh, I actually read it with my book club. We haven't discussed it yet. That'll be coming up this weekend and I'm very interested to see what the other ladies thought because I thought it was weird. So actual novels that I read um, other than the manga series of Sailor Moon, <laughs> The Golden Compass will come in a reek in a Janine rereads. Funny Girl was okay. It was a book about a lady who wants to be an actress and is inspired by Lucy from I Love Lucy and kind of her journey through acting and television and all of the trials and tribulations that she has therein. It was an okay book. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I probably won't read it again. Then I had The Shadow of the Wind, which I loved. Five stars. It was so good. I do highly recommend if you love reading books about books. And then Smoke. I still don't know how I feel about Smoke because the author in like his afterward talked about how this is a political book, but you can decide how it's political. And I was just like, Way to cop out, man. Like, come on. There are some really interesting concepts in there, but there were too many open-ended questions for me to really love it. Didn't hate it. Again, probably not something I'm going to reread, though. So what I'm going to do for this session, or this segment, is actually talk about reading the Sailor Moon manga. As a kid growing up, I loved watching Sailor Moon. I don't know why, but I really identified with Sailor Mars. I loved her. I loved her fire. I made my mom make me a Sailor Scout um, costume, and it was Sailor Mars. And I wore it for, like, way longer than I should have been wearing it. Like, by the time I started growing, you could definitely maybe see my bum cheeks. <laughs> I don't know if I have any pictorial evidence, and if I do, I'm not going to find it. But let's just say I loved wearing that sailor suit. I always felt so empowered. So reading the manga, which I think technically came after the TV show, was really cool. I really loved exploring some of the arcs, and I think there was a time when I must have fallen out of Sailor Moon and maybe forgotten about it or I wasn't watching TV at the time because there were some story arcs that I was like, whoa, I don't remember this at all. And can we just say 
that um, Tuxedo Mask was a lot hotter than I remember him. Like, I don't know. I have a thing for hunky dudes, okay? Whatevs. Uh, <laughs> overall, I loved the building in Sailor Moon. I loved seeing the addition of the other Sailor soldiers. I loved how complex. I totally didn't remember some of the characters, and I don't think I ever met them. So what I'm going to do is I actually have a little bit of a vlog-esque type thing where I took two quizzes to see what Sailor Scout I was. Um, I think me saying that I take two quizzes should give you all of the information that you need to know about how those quizzes went. But I'm going to move forward, let you view them, and then I'll come back and discuss. Okay, so I did decide to take the um, Witch Sailor Moon character are you quiz. So I'm also like laying down on my bed in the hopes that you won't be able to see my 17 chins. So if you can, let's just ignore them. Okay, like they want to be loved and accepted too. Um, so I'm going to read the questions. I'll link the quiz in the description below so that you can totally take this quiz too. And let me know if we're besties, which obviously we are because we're all Sailor Scouts together. Okay, so which Sailor Moon character are you? Pick a Pokemon. I don't know how that's relevant, but I'm going to do it. I've got Eevee, Jigglypuff, Charmander, Mew, Pikachu, Squirtle, Togepi, Hitmonlee, and Beautifly. Mm, I used to love Togepi as a kid. I was obsessed with them, but Eevee is obviously the best. So, there's that. Although I was considering Jigglypuff. I am small, pink, and annoying, and sing a lot, so. Next is pick a dream vacation. I can pick Paris, the Maldives, or Maldives. I think it's Maldives. Uh, Rio, Rome, Tokyo, Reykjavik, the moon, duh. That's what it says. The moon, comma, duh. New York or Shanghai. I've been to Paris. I don't know if I want to go to Rio. I mean, I do, but I have like certain people that I want to go to Rio with. This is a hard question for me. You know what? I haven't been to Rome. My favorite movie is Roman Holiday. I'm going to pick Rome. Which Justin Timberlake are you? Okay, I guess. Mm. Why are these questions so hard, you guys? I'm not cornrows. Justin Timberlake. Maybe Justin Timberlake in a bow tie with his pompadour. Like, hair style, I mean. I don't know that I'm Justin Timberlake from the Facebook movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Justin Timberlake with the bow tie by himself. What's your spirit animal? Well, I'm not indigenous, so that's not part of my belief. Like, it's not part of my culture to have a spirit animal. So let's reword this for Patronus, or what animal we think speaks to us, because spirit animal is just not okay. We've got panda, horse, tiger, cat, rabbit, dove, wolf, lion, Pika. I didn't know Pika was Pika so cute with a little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Lion. What's your favorite book? The Electric Kool Aid te Acid Test. I've heard of that, but I don't know what it's about. Good Night Moon, Kafka on the Shore, The Great Gatsby, The Old Man on the Sea, Catching Fire, The Cat in the Hat, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Love in the Time of Cholera. 
none of those. My answer is none of those. I'm, I'm going to go with cat and hat. What's your favorite color? Green. Choose your favorite flower. They'll probably not have mine. I like lilacs best. Lily, daffodil, rose. Carnations, daisies, orchids. Hydrangeas, sunflowers, or evening primrose. I like things that are different looking. Either sunflowers or lilies. Sunflowers. Yellow makes me happy. What's your best subject? Music, recess, physical education, calculus, foreign language, biology, English, lunch, history. English. It was always English. Although I was pretty good at most subjects, not to toot my own horn. What looks tastiest to you? Spaghetti, cherry pie, sushi, ice cream, pancakes, chocolate, candy, curry, sandwich, curry. Boom. Choose a celebrity cat. I don't know some of them. So there's Lil Bub, Maru, Nala. <gasps> Nala is so cute. And so is Lil Bub. They're all cute. Who am I kidding? Grumpy Cat, Hamilton the Hipster Cat. <laughs> Henry, Snoopy, Colonel Meow, and Skiftcha. Mm, I'm gonna pick Nala. She's distinguished. Guys, I'm not a Sailor Scout, apparently. I oh, got Artemis. You're Artemis. You are wise, patient, and sometimes very sarcastic. Mm, I can't argue with that. You are Luna's husband in the other realm. Even though you are named after a goddess, it doesn't really bother you much. You found and trained Sailor Venus, and you also helped guide Luna at a time, though she hates to admit it. You're charming, a teensy bit clumsy, but loyal as hell. The only part of that that isn't true is the clumsy part. I just wanted to be a Sailor Scout. <laughs> I am totally finding another quiz that will give me one of the Sailor Scouts. Okay, so since I'm a little crybaby, I found another test. This one is from Playbuzz, and I will also <laughs> include it below. And it is, which sa sailor soldier are you? Bleh. Try saying that ten times fast. All right, so um, let's start. It says, where are you most comfortable in? At a gym or sport arena, in a beautiful flower garden, in a countryside, in mountainous or hillside area. I never like to settle. I like traveling at home, on the beach, or swimming pool. That's a really, really tough one to start this off. Um, I am comfortable in the gym, and in the flower garden, and in the countryside, and in the mountains, and I don't like to settle. And at home. The only place I'm not comfortable is the beach or pool. Because you see your girl? She's pasty. She burns. She doesn't like reapplying sunscreen a lot. <sighs> Most comfortable in. Why didn't they put library? Okay. I'm going to pick countryside. Because the mountainous hillside area and the flower garden can also be incorporated in there. What is your hobby? Reading, okay. Traveling, cooking, doing sport, playing games or engaging in social media, med meditation, yoga, anything relaxing, reading or writing, listening to music or playing a musical instrument. I think we all know since this is booktube what the answer's gonna be. Next is, what do you think about having a husband boyfriend? Well, I have one. So there's literally only one answer. It says, I'm too busy for men. Aren't we all? I like women instead of men. 
sometimes. I want one. I'm not sure. I have one. Or I don't like men. That last one, though. So true. I have one. If you are faced by a challenge, what would you do? Assess the situation first, work straight through it, find someone who can help me, work around it. I try to avoid this kind of trouble. Word. Um, I usually try to assess the situation so that I can work straight through it, but first, it's always to assess. What's your favorite outfit? Sporty tomboy style, girly girl style. I usually just wear anything I can find in my wardrobe that day or super casual. Kind of a mix of sporty tomboy and super casual. So I'm just going to go with um, sporty tomboy. Enemy comes. What do you do? Try to make it see the error of its ways. Analyze its weakness. Try to run instead. Throw energy force at it. Douse it with a huge wave of water. Burn it to the ground. Use your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills to beat it. Lol. Not me. Probably trying to make it see the error of its ways. If your biggest enemy gives up or is beaten by you in a fight, you ask him or her to be your friend, forgive him or her but keep an eye on him or her, kill him or her, forgive him and her, him slash her and leave, you never want to deal with him slash her again. It's either going to be forgive and keep an eye or forgive and never deal with again. I feel like never dealing with again is being negligent and like you should keep an eye on them so that you can keep them in line in the future. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. What's your biggest secret? I have family members that I never tell other people about. My real personality is not like what other people see. I secretly enjoy cheesy romantic novels despite my seemingly serious demeanor. It ain't no secret. I love a good cry. I secretly hate my job. I'm in love with a woman. I secretly enjoy feminine activities despite my tough appearance. <laughs> Definitely not my biggest secret, but probably enjoying feminine activities despite my tough appearance, I guess. Do you want to be famous and remembered as a hero? Duh, why do you think I started booktube? <laughs> uh, I really want to, but the circumstances do not allow it. I don't want it, actually, but I can't help it. No, I prefer to do everything secretly since the beginning. I like secrecy. Yes, of course. This is a weird question to answer. I'm just going to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Okay. I'm going with circumstances don't allow it. What's the most appealing virtue you want to have? Wisdom, grace, power, courage, intelligence, loyalty, love. I wish they would tell me the difference between wisdom and intelligence. I guess intelligence is being smart and wisdom is using that, right? That makes sense. But loyalty is good too. Mm, but I already... Yeah, wisdom. Final question. Imagine yourself as the controller of just one magical power. What do you wish to have? Power to see beyond the vice of your enemies and use it to convert them. Psychic ability, manipulate light, fire, thunder, time, super intelligence, or manipulate water. Why is this so hard? I'm going to go with super intelligence. Calculating the results. Here we go. I got Pluto. You're very mature, intelligent, and responsible. You are good in handling responsibilities that require loyalty and secrecy. True. However, sometimes all you want is just one friend that can be a confidant and place to share burdens. Also true. Your secrecy makes it hard for people to get to know you. Not true. But once you are close to someone, you will show your caring side. Very true. I control time very neat. At least now I'm actually a Sailor Scout instead of Artemis. A cat.
So, could you tell I didn't like my results? I mean, Artemis is cool, don't get me wrong, but, um, yeah, what? <laughs> um, Sailor Pluto's pretty cool too, but I was really sad I didn't get one of the original four, five, yeah, but it is what it is, right? I really enjoyed uh, reading Sailor Moon. It was actually for a readathon that my two friends put on, Carolyn, shouting out her again, and uh, Winnie, who is nerdy underscore obsessed bookworm, also on Bookstagram. Feel free to check them out, friends that I love dearly. And that's it. That's my September in a nutshell. I don't know how I feel about doing wrap-up videos. I've never really done them before. But that's kind of where I am. Let me know how your reading for September went. Have you read any of the books that I have read? Did you enjoy them? Do you have any books that you want to recommend me for Janine Reads Your Rex? Or are there any books that you think that I should reread for the good of Booktube? Thanks so much for joining me. If you liked this video, please consider liking it, subscribing, commenting, anything that you can do to help us small booktubers out. We really appreciate it. So thank you so much for being here. Maybe next time I won't be in my Canadian disguise, but we'll see. See you later, guys. Have a great one.